Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, uh, where you can find some of the best in-depth video walkarounds on any of the any other Ford vehicles out there. We do what we call our complete guide walkarounds, where we cover all the standard equipment as well as optional equipment packages, full walkaround videos. Uh, with the Bronco, we're not able to do that, so that's why we're going to do it with the, these nice build and price series that we have going on. We've covered now the base and Big Ben. Now we're going to cover the Black Diamond in this video, and we're going to cover all the vehicles. So uh, check out our YouTube channel. Go to uh, go to course uh, youtube.com forward slash Law MacArthur. You can also hit that red subscribe button down below. You get subscribed over to our channel, and you can hit the Law MacArthur. Hit the notification bell. You also get notified next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. And you can check out, we do have a playlist where we're putting all these videos in so you can find them in all in one place. If you want to visit these later. So hopefully these videos do help you out. And we are going to cover in these videos the, going to go through the build and price. So we're going to cover, not really talk too much about the standard equipment, but I'll show you where you can find all the standard equipment for each of these trims. Uh, but we're going to cover all the different um, uh, packages and standalone options you can get using the configure uh, as examples in here uh, for the, uh, the big, the, black diamond version. Now we do have some information I'm going to share at the end of the video about our free shipping policy as well as how you can switch your Bronco order over to Law MacArthur uh, if uh, you want to. Uh, check out all that information uh, at the end of the video. Uh, we'll cover all that. But We do have a great Bronco team. We have six specialists that are dedicated to the Broncos. Not only are they Bronco specialists to help customers, they're all doing orders themselves because they're wanting a Bronco. That's why they're on the Bronco team. So they're as passionate as you are and are looking forward to this. We're glad the building price up. We've been waiting for this. So let's kind of go through this and dive right into the Black Diamond. I do on our uh, website, we do on lawmacarthur.com, we do have under the new tab a Bronco page. On that page, we have this nice little um, the PDF came out by Bronco Nation. I found it on bronco6g.com. I'm on there just like the rest of you probably are. And there's a nice little guide that they have, and that should be on our website. We, um, we're working with our website provider to have a link to that. Hopefully, we'll have this image right here and then uh, right there. And then when you click on that, you can see the whole PDF that can pull up. What's cool about it is when you go through each model, it's just like with a black diamond, it actually says, okay, black diamond gets everything from Big Ben plus these features on top of those. And then it goes through the different packages that are available and the different standalone options that are available. It doesn't have the pricing in here, but at least kind of gives you that. And you can actually download that to your phone as a PDF and you have it right there on your phone to check out or your computer, whatever you want to do. So hopefully that is of some use to you. So uh, you use that resource uh, at your leisure right there. I want to provide that to you. So let's go ahead we have this. I'm actually doing this on my phone so we can put this over to the side right here, <laughs> right now. Uh, so you can see that and we're actually going to go through and some of the other versions we did two door and then we did four door but not too many differences between the options so we're just going to bounce right into the four door and start the build. Now I will tell you there is a view details before you get there if you click on the choose your model you can swipe left right and left like I'm doing right here. There's a view details when you click on that it gives you some information and um, we'll go ahead and do that real quick and then down there you can see that's all it shows you all the standard equipment there so you can do it you can find it right here as well on the building price and there's another spot you can find that when you go actually go into the configure um, as well so we're going to hit your start your build and show you where that's at right now so uh, if you click you can see these arrows at the top right below your summary and your uh, your monthly payment there uh, there's exterior you click to interior it, it, it basically it's scrolling down for you on the page um, but I'm going to show you go to powertrains and then below that you do have packages. When you go to package it shows you your standard package and it says view all features. You can get to that same page that way as well. A little bit faster and it doesn't include some of the other graphics and everything so it doesn't get in your way. So that's where you'd find the standard equipment if you want to show uh, see some of that information. So let's go on back to the exterior and start back at the top and show you. You can see the image up there so four door does come standard with the soft top two door will come standard with the hard top. So keep that in mind. Uh, there are five images you can flip through. So as you change that, looks like we have the color chosen on this particular one is iconic silver, uh, but you can change and you change the colors, you changes that graphic. So now black diamond is that one that is, is the version a lot of people are looking at because that's the washout interior. This is a, for the people that are going true off road. Um, maybe they don't have the money they want to spend to go to Badlands. Uh, this is a great one because it does give you a, a convenience package that you can get and of course you can get the Sasquatch just like on any model but this is the washout interior uh, model that a lot of people are choosing to go to uh, very popular uh, model 
uh, a lot of again a lot of people choosing and what's great about it is we get some more exterior colors now when we go from big ben to black diamond so now not only do we have black we have the white we have the antimatter blue uh, you do have the cactus gray which still in my opinion that's not that color we've seen some images online um, and then you do have your iconic silverware on uh, you do have area 51 that is actually one of my favorite colors of the the group uh, then you do have carbonized gray, which is available even on the base. You do have your rapid red, which is a $2.95 cost to go to that color. Race red, which we did see on the Big Ben, uh, got that color as well. And then now we have the cyber orange, $5.95 to go to that color. It is, I think it's because it's several coats of paint, so it's like a, uh, maybe a tri-coat or at least it's a, a tinted coat of some, of some sort. So you do have um, several versions going on. That's why it costs a little more money and then you do have the Velocity Blue. So we're gonna use the Cyber Orange because we weren't able to use that on the Big Ben uh, for our example there. And you can see when you change the colors, it changes the look on uh, the uh, image right there as well. So let's scroll on down. We do have an extra wheel option. So standard wheel is gonna be the 17 inch gloss back painted steel wheel. So we see that steel wheel in a lot of our, as well as on the Badlands when we get to that you'll see that. That middle wheel is the wheel that you get when you go to Sasquatch. It does, when you click on it, require you to get the Sasquatch package. Right now, we're not gonna do that. Um, wow, it's even, now it's 668.95. Okay, anyway, we'll get into that just a little bit and cost some, some of those. Uh, and then there's a different option of wheel that you can get. As you can see, it doesn't require any other packages, and it's a 995 wheel, so it's a 17 inch um, black, high gloss painted alloy wheel. It is not a beadlock capable wheel like the Sasquatch. You would have to go to Sasquatch to get that, uh, so you have that. Now the tires down below, if you, I'm gonna stay on that, that wheel right there, kind of like that one better than the steel, just myself. Uh, you know, but actually Black Diamond is probably the version, if I got one, would be the Black Diamond. Uh, I actually have not reserved a Bronco. Uh, for those of you that, that follow me, I just got an F-150 that I put a, a lift kit and a custom package on. I'm going to drive that for a little while, probably get a Bronco in a couple years and probably the 2022 or something. But um, I, so, but really excited about the product anyway. But if you click that other tire, it actually will tell you it's the tire that's included in the Sasquatch package. Now we're going to move on down. There's the hard top. It's $6.95 for the Ford order to get the hard top that is a molded in color. So similar to the material that you see on fender flares, uh, usually the bottom rocker on some vehicles. Uh, the mirror caps are the same color, so it's that same material right there. Um, so you're gonna have that hard top, but it will have removable panels and removable top as well. So you're gonna have that as an option. Hard uh, top sound deadening uh, headliner there is $4.95, just like in the Big Ben. Some of these are the same as those other ones, but if you're not watching those, you're just watching this one, I do wanna cover everything. Refract rails with crossbars that are black. As you can see, any of these, if you click the little eye, it'll give you what's included there, how it's available. It says it's not available with the Sasquatch package, so keep that in mind. Uh, it is $3.95, you can add it from there, or you can add it by clicking the plus. So if we click out of that, and if we do add it, let's go ahead and add the refract rails. You can see it changes. Uh, does also, re it says it requires you to have the hard top, so let's go ahead and throw the hard top on there and then it shows you what it looks like in that image. So now we have the hard top and we do have the rough refract rails. I'm gonna take the rails off. I wonder if it'll let me keep the hard top. We'll do that. Okay, we'll go on up here. We'll click the hard top because I probably would want the hard top. Um, and the only thing that I really wish is that I can get the, uh, the two tops, the soft and the hard top as a, uh, for the, um, on, on the black diamond that is not available. I think you, to get the dual tops, you have to go on up to at least the outer banks. Now you'll notice that you automatically get the module, the heavy duty modules or front bumpers or standard equipment on this. So it's included as well as the upgraded bash plate is also included. You for 295 can get the paint protection film. Uh, you can also get a brush guard. So let's go ahead and add that just so you can see what it looks like in the image. So add that brush guard. You can see we've been seeing some images on Ford's website. If it'll go, uh, our, we are noticing because of the traffic, so many people getting on there that we're having issues with this. A lot of people have complained about that. That's just part of a website. I mean, it's it's just, I mean, being uh, somebody that manages websites and such, um, you know, there's a lot of traffic. It's really hard to stay up with that. Um, so uh, that may change. So we'll, we'll uncheck it there. But it does add, if you look at the image down there, on 
it will show you what it looks like there. So wheel lock kit is $90, engine block heater is $100, pretty standard on most vehicles. You notice remote start system does not have a price. That's because it's, in, it's part of the mid package. So if you click on it, it'll tell you to add the mid package. That's $1,500. And then keyless entry keypad is 110 right there for that keypad entry. Uh, moving down, we're now to the interior. As you can see, you have two different images there. So uh, this in here has the black onyx interior environment. So that means it's going to have black uh, and some different materials on the front. You'll notice the blue, the velocity blue accent on the grab handle there. Uh, you'll also see that on the door. Um, can't really see it from that angle right there, uh, but you also have it the ones uh, beside that when you open the doors, you'll have grab handles there too. Um, and then you'll notice the seats, they are a, move down, they are marine grade vinyl seats with the dark space gray. Only option, no color for you there, no other uh, uh, color available, but you're gonna have those uh, seats, uh, those marine grade. So they basically wash out interior seats as well as the flooring uh, with the wash out flooring. Talk about interior options you can get, a couple different accessory kits or assistance kits, I mean, an on-road and an off-road. Uh, one of them, uh, they just have different things that come with those. Again, click the eye. You can learn a little bit more about those. As you can see with this one, includes, you know, a carry case with a Ford logo, and it gives you some of those things there. It gives you, you know, hazard, reflective safety vest, rain poncho, survival blankets. Uh, some of those things you might want uh, so you can always add those and these are factory options will be included in your vehicle when it's delivered from the factory dual zone climate doesn't give you a price that's part of the mid package you would have to go to that included in this package don't think we talked about this and when we talked about standard equipment uh, several months ago the auxiliary switches with in the overhead console with front map pockets are included in the black diamond big ben is an optional equipment it's included Floor liners, front and rear floor liners. Can we put in the vehicle? Let's hit the eye because I do want to kind of want to see what those look like. Uh, it's not showing us an image, but yet there was an image before we clicked on it. Hmm. Weird. Um, and then you'll notice standard equipment is the, the front row top panels uh, for onboard on vehicle storage. So those top panels that are on the roof, uh, the top two you can put in storage bags, put it in the rear cargo. Uh, back there and that's going to be included. You'll notice that the um, does not have a, an option for the doors. Even though we're on the four-door version, on the big bin it does have an option to take the doors off, store those in, the, in those and put them back in the back. Not seeing that here so I don't know if they just you know forgot to include that like they did in the big bin. I think it was like $390 or something like that on the big bin uh, but it's not. Power outlet uh, to add that, we have to go to the mid package. If you try to add anything that doesn't have a price, it'll actually tell you what you need to do to get that option. In this case, it does tell you to get the mid package, which would cost $1,500 for that package. So we'll cover that package just a little bit as we scroll down. Sync 4 is going to be standard equipment. A couple other Sync 4s, and they are a little bit different based on what you have. Um, you'll notice these two down here include the navigation. One of them says connected navigation. The other one says connected built-in navigation. So they are enhanced systems um, and there's no plus by those, but if you actually click the corner, it actually does let you that it's just not showing there. It shows you you need to have the mid package uh, for um, one of those and the other one down there uh, tells you you need the mid package and then it lets you order it. So you see the cost difference. So it's not only just the mid package, but it's also the upgraded navigation system with the mid package. So, uh, and then scroll on down to audio upgrades. You're going to get the Sirius XM satellite with a 360L. Sync, of course, is included. Uh, Sync 4 with the enhanced voice recognition. Again, that's part of the mid package and the connected navigation and the built-in navigation. We kind of just talked about those earlier as part of that package. Now we're going to head down to the powertrain where you have the standard equipment, the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. Uh, if you uh, click on that, of course, it kind of tells you a little bit of information there. Uh, with that uh, on the manual um, so this this engine uh, is only available as it says the 2.7 manual transmission only available with the 2.3 so you can't get the manual with the 2.7 and then you can see there's the cost for the 2.7 it's 1895 if you don't see the plus beside it if you just click the corner uh, of that just where that shows up where that blue uh, check mark is that actually is where the plus is supposed to be uh, so that you can see it they added uh, 1895 I'm actually going to take that off because I think the 2.3 liter is actually very adequate. 
Um, so I am, I, I, if I got ordered one, I would not get the 2.7, I'd stay with the 2.3. I think it, it's gonna be adequate. Uh, if, you're, if you're curious on that out there and you're close enough to Ford dealer and they have a Ford Ranger, uh, they have the 2.3 liter and this is based on the Ford Ranger chassis. So go drive a, a crew cab or a super crew uh, Ranger with a 2.3 uh, with the ten, their 10 speed automatic and get a good idea of whether or not it's gonna be enough power and I think you'd be really pleased with it. Um, and then you do have the seven speed manual transmission. Standard equipment, automatic is $1,600 right there and we can add that. Uh, if you do the, the 2.7, does require you to get the 10 speed automatic as well. So you're gonna have the cost of the 2.7 and you're gonna have the cost of the automatic at $1,600. Moving on down, standard is gonna be the four x four with the part-time selectable engagement. Advanced four x four, I don't think we can add that as optional equipment. You'll notice there's no price. When we click on that, it does, uh, will pop up, tell us we need to order the Sasquatch package, I believe. Um, again, we're having issues with the site, but that's what it'll do. So we're gonna go back to the other, um, there you go. Actually, actually, it is telling us we can order that for $7.95, which is good. Um, so, so it looks like we can order the advanced four x four for $7.95. So it is a standalone option on the Black Diamond, looks like. So we're going to actually keep that selected so we can have that. Also, you'll notice it does give you uh, rear locking differentials, the standard equipment on this. That's why the Sasquatch is actually less than it is on the Big Ben, is because it includes the rear locking differentials for the Black Diamond. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. So if we wanted to select the 4.7 locking, it'll actually tell you to go to the Sasquatch package. So now we're down to the packages. You have the standard package down here, which is included. If we scroll or use the blue arrows at the bottom down there, uh, you can see when you go to the mid package, what's included in the mid package for $1,500. Um, so I did mention this in the big bin. We'll go ahead and mention, we'll go ahead and scroll through these real quick. You do get intelligent access, which means key fob in your pocket, put your hands in door handle, automatically unlocks the vehicle. Push button start is standard equipment, so you'll get in, you won't have to get the keys out to start your vehicle or to get in or out. 110 outlet, which is gonna be positioned on the back of the center console. Ambient lighting, auto dimming rear view mirror, which will dim that mirror if cars wanna come behind you with those bright lights. Dual zone climate control, so the driver and front passenger can have two different temperatures. Uh, automatic climate as well. Front heated seats for those cloth seats. It's going to heat those up really fast. It's going to be very comfortable for you. Should also be included in your Ford Pass. If you want to use your Ford Pass to schedule remote start times or remote start your vehicle, it'll include the heated seats as well if you have that set up in your settings uh, for the remote start settings. Illuminated sliding visor vanity mirrors. Uh, so those mirrors will flip down, they'll slide, uh, they'll have lights on them. You can flip open so you can see the mirror with, that's illuminated for you. Uh, remote start system uh, with an automatic transmission. So uh, if you add this package with a manual, you will not get remote start. So keep that in mind. Um, reverse sensing system is going to include it. Rear view camera is already going to be standard equipment. Sync 4 with the enhanced voice recognition. So the, the enhanced system that we talked about earlier, that's also going to give you the connected navigation as we can see down there below the, um, the Ford Copilot 360. Uh, so that's going to be all included there and uh, looks like um, the connected navigation um, the difference between that so let's let's go ahead and add this i want to tell you this this the connected navigation basically gives it to you for 90 days included in the package so let's go ahead and add this package right and then if you go up if you let's scroll back up to the what we we're talking about about the interior here or those uh, options uh, this is where you see now the connected built-in navigation isn't selected. If we click that, I think the difference is that it's built-in. So for an extra $6.95, you don't have the subscription. So instead of having the 90-day subscription, now it's going to be part of it because now it's connected in, it's built into it. And so for basically you're, for $700, you're paying for it, the version without having to have a, any kind of subscription. So uh, that's the difference and what, why, it's, uh, why you have those two different things there is for that reason. So I'm gonna hit no there. Um, and uh, so that's, that's those differences. So scroll on back on down. We'll stay with that mid package down there. And other packages, we have the Sasquatch package, which is $4,500. You'll see different than the Big Ben, which was five grand because you already get the, the locking diffs. Um, so when you add the Sasquatch, you're adding those other features. It's showing you what you get uh, on any vehicle. So you're getting the upgraded uh, wheels um, right there with the B-Lock capable wheels. You're getting the upgraded 35-inch mud terrain tires, the high clearance suspension, high clearance fender flares, 
in the 4.7 final drive ratio with electronic locking front and rear axle. Uh, so you're getting all those features as part of that Sasquatch package. Again, you already have the, uh, the, um, the locking rear diff diffs on that. So, and then uh, it's including the Copilot 360 already as part of the, uh, the package, the mid package we talked about. Oh, I uh, almost skipped over the tow, uh, the tow package. So you do have a tow package, it's $595. It's gonna give you the hitch receiver. It's gonna give you your wiring. Uh, it's gonna give you the max uh, towing of 3,500 pounds. Does not include a trailer brake controller though, uh, but it'll include all your wiring. Uh, and also uh, include the trailer connecting uh, for you as well. So when you wanna connect trailers, it'll t give you that checklist to go through and make sure you've got everything taken care of there. Go ahead and close that. If it lets me, there we go. And then the Ford uh, Copilot 360 package is included with this. Um, if you click on that, it shows you some of the things that are included. Uh, two things that aren't included are those bottom two. So you will, you'll get the Bliss system with cross traffic alert, which is one of my favorite features. Auto high beams uh, went past that. Lane keeping system with the lane departure um, and driver alert. You also get pre collision assist. That's actually standard equipment on all of your vehicles. Um, also rear view camera, also standard equipment already as part of that. Um, and then those bottom two you will not get on the black diamond because you, you will need the high or lux package to get those which aren't available on the black diamond. So I'll go ahead and close that out. And then now we're getting to accessories here, uh, which are really fun. Uh, covered, these are all the same accessories, by the way, as we did see in the big bin and the, and the base. If you watch those videos, you would have to watch this, this here, but I do wanna do a recap at the end, so you might uh, look at the timestamps down below and uh, move on to the end. Uh, but if you're watching this one, you haven't watched the others, let's go through these. Uh, you do have a four-door kit, uh, it's the rock rails there, 595 to add that. Um, don't know if you're gonna be able to see that in that image, so if we add it, um, Man, it's really struggling uh, to get this in here um, for some reason. So it's not showing those those kits there yet. Um, so uh, we're not processing. But when you do it on your own, uh, it'll change the look of that right there too. And you can actually click the eye. Gives us a little image there, what that looks like. So it just kind of adds those rails down there to help protect it from any kind of rocks, of course, rock rails. Um, so it shows you what that looks like. Let's click on and expand the bumpers, front fenders, door, and roof. So you do have, here's kind of cool, you do have the tube door accessory kit. Let's click the eye because it seems like clicking on it is not changing the look of that. Let's, let's try it. Uh, it's not changing it. So, um, but if we just click the eye, you can see what it looks like there. Uh, so if you want to take the doors off, uh, you can put these rails on and just kind of keeps people in there, but it still gives you the airflow through. So pretty cool uh, look to it right there. Uh, I know uh, one of our uh, consultants there are here is uh, wanting to get, get those on his vehicle. A couple different uh, Benami tops. You do have um, a soft canvas or you have a soft mesh. Uh, the difference is the canvas is going to protect from rain and that kind of thing, whereas the mesh is going to give you some shade, but still allow for airflow and even water and such to come through uh, to there. And so you can see it's $500 for the canvas and $400 for the mesh right there. Go to the racks and carriers. A lot of options here. You have a hitch mounted four bike carrier with full swing. That's going to, I think that's going to go into the, the hitch right there. Uh, if I remember right, let me click on that and see. Um, looks like, does it tell you it requires, yeah, it does require the tow capability and the uh, hitch bike mount carrier. So um, you will have to get that. So it'll probably tell you to, to add those if we go ahead and try to add those. Uh, roof rack mounted bike carrier with lock. So that goes on top of the roof. Does probably require to get the roof rack rails on there, um, which again is not available on the Sasquatch. Um, then you have the hitch mounted bike rack uh, and tilt for two bikes. And then you have a roof mounted cargo box with lock. So you can put stuff in there, lock it up, you know, protect it from the weather that way. And then you do have a couple different baskets available. You have an extra large with a net, and then you have a medium with a net, and you have a small, uh, does not come with a net. Uh, so different options there uh, for those different baskets. Uh, I think it does require you to have the rails on there, the, the, those rails on that hard top. And also does require to have the hard top too. Then you do have a kayak carrier with locks, and then you do have a kayak carrier load assist with locks, and then you have a snow sport rack, skis, snowboards, that kind of thing. Paddleboard carrier, a lot of options here for, uh, for those. You have an awning that comes out. 
Now, all these, a lot of these do require you to have the rail system, the, the roof rack rails, which also include you to need the hard top. So keep in mind to add these to it. You're going to need both of those options to be able to get these uh, with that price there. And then you have a tent also, a two-person tent, which is, I think is kind of cool. So you can go up there uh, off the ground, that kind of thing. And then you do have a couple different flat top cargo carriers, a large, and you have a small um, so it does have those with attachments for the uh, roof rails and then the then you there Here's your roof rail crossbars that are uh, some of them will require you to have and then you do have your 12 inch hitch extension for racks So that's where you, you require you to have the tow package and Then you put that in there and that extends it out So you can put those bike racks and different things that, that would go into there and give you that extension Just like the one the image right below that with the hitch mounted ski sport uh, snow sport rack as well and then you do have a car a canoe carrier right there as well we have more let's look at the hitches towing and recovery you do have an off-road recovery kit that includes some tow hooks some some tow straps some things like that you have an off-road recovery kit the heavy duty one um, right there so you have a regular and a heavy duty uh, so a little different price there you do have the winch and winch mounting solution kit so you it would have the mounting brackets to go there and everything probably does require you to have the brush guard. Uh, as you can see, that vehicle there has a brush guard. Um, and then you do have an off-road track air compressor kit. Uh, a couple different, uh, it says trim kits. Uh, basically what they are are the brackets. If I click on it, you have a Ford Performance um, license plate bracket. You have a black and you have the brushed. Uh, so a couple different options there. Going to interior, um, you do have comfort under the comfort and convenience. You do have a portable fridge and freezer that can be included and added to the vehicle. Go down to electronics and you eat under the lamp lights and treatments you do have a pod light uh, that can be added. Uh, I think that gets mounted on the front of the Bronco and then you have a light bar that gets put on the top of the, of the roof. Uh, 40 inch uh, uh, up there by Rigid. Uh, so that's pretty cool and you have a couple different off-road underbody lighting kits one with amber lights one with white lights depending on what version you want for the same price there so that's all your accessories there and those are all the ford accessories keep in mind these are ones that would come from the factory uh, for you so when you order them they would come with your bronco there are going to be other accessories that ford accessories are going to be available from your ford dealerships uh, that you can add as well so when ford accessories has this up and uh, maybe we can check Maybe I'll look, uh, possibly do a video on that and show you different accessories on top of that you can get. Scroll down, you can see your summary. And at any time, the summary is actually at the top of the page as well. Uh, but you can see the breakdown for that. And it does usually load the image right there. And again, we're having connection issues here, um, probably part of the website. But you can see we added the cyber orange. We added the, uh, the black wheels. Uh, to that, that's uh, $595 and $995. We also added the hard top at $695 to that. Um, some of the standard equipment is showing in there. Didn't really add anything to the interior. Um, didn't change the engine or anything there. We added the mid package, just $1495. Keep scrolling, it gives you a breakdown of that. Base MSRP is $38,545. And then you, of course, have your options there. Your destination delivery is a charge that four charges on your vehicle um, that gets passed on to you is not a dealer charge, that is Ford's charge to get it from Ford to the dealership, so keep that in mind. And then a breakdown. If you click, hit that little calculator, you can actually calculate, uh, I don't know if it'll bring it up, oh, it does pretty quick. Cool, so you have, if you, you do have the, uh, you do have the finance option up there is showing you that payment there, and that's based, if you look down below, on the term of 60 months at a rate of 5%. So if you know you can get a little bit better rate or whatever, you can change that. It also shows for a down payment of $44.62. So if you don't want to put that in there, you want to do zero instead, you just change that number and it'll change that payment. You'll notice leases will be available. And the, um, so what's that telling us? Do not have special lease incentives at this time in your zip code. So, okay, so it is not allowing us to have a, um, a lease. I know in the Broncos Sport we were able to do leases, but maybe the Broncos are not gonna be available for leases. Um, so I'm not sure on that, but you can also put in your trade-in information, change the term there, change your uh, rate that if you think you can get, and it'll update your payment right there as well. Um, you can update, close it. You can actually print this information as well. Uh, you can keep your configures. 
uh, configuration and everything uh, for you so that you can have that for when you're ready to do your order with your dealer uh, right there. So, uh, so pretty cool how that all works. I'm gonna close that out there and go back to the Bronco. But so hopefully this, this helps you out. Um, kind of played around with the configure. You can do this yourself as well. Um, okay, it's not, there we go. Uh, so you can do this yourself as well. Go into the configure, see what's available, what you like, how it changes the payment right there, how it changes the look of the vehicle as well. Uh, hopefully it works a little bit smoother than it is for this video right here. Uh, again, we are doing this on the first day it's been live, so there's going to be a lot of traffic as you do it more this weekend and even next week. It'll probably lessen up. People have gotten in there, have looked at it, and uh, moved on. So you'll it'll work. Um, it'll work a little bit better. Just bear with it. Um, and uh, enjoy it and be able to go through that. So hopefully you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget you can uh, get a Bronco reservation through us if you want to as a dealership. Uh, we have the links on our Bronco page. If you want to switch over to us, check out the number down below. Uh, you can switch that over by calling the 800 number and switching that reservation. Please don't cancel the reservation. Uh, you are in line uh, where you want to be. Uh, uh, you probably even want to move up, but you don't want to lose that spot. So do not cancel the reservation. Uh, if you want to switch over to Law MacArthur, do call the 800 number, just switch dealers instead. Uh, so that way you don't lose that, that, that reservation there for you. Uh, so keep that in mind. Don't forget we're doing free shipping. The way that works, we just ask you to finance a vehicle with us. We'll cover the shipping costs up to $1,000. Uh, so it gets us, since we're in the middle of the United States, does get us from coast to coast, usually for that $1,000, um, unless you're on the very edge of those. Uh, Alaska and Hawaii will cover the first $1,000 for that. Uh, we have delivered vehicles to both of those states uh, in the past, uh, so that's why I bring that up. And so uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, we do ask, again, you finance it. We're very transparent about it. The lenders give us a kickback enough to cover some of the cost of the shipping. Uh, depends on how much you finance. Uh, you don't have to finance the full amount. We're not asking you to do that, but uh, we are asking you to finance some of that so we can uh, that cost doesn't get incurred onto you, so we can give you that free shipping as well. Most dealerships will have you finance. They'll still have that as their profit. We're just passing that on to you uh, to use for our shipping costs, so keep that in mind as well. If you have a trade-in, uh, we can work with that as well. We can cover you know the first $1,000 for any kind of transportation there and back. A lot of people are flying in if they're not trading a vehicle and are going to drive their Bronco home then there wouldn't be any cost there and not no requirement to finance with us we will cover hotel stays and that's that kind of thing on their way back if you like to up to thousand dollars so we have some people that are going to make a trip out of it uh, so think about that as well and uh, use law macarthur as you're delivering dealership we are passionate about the bronco lineup we have bronco specialists that are ordering themselves and are dedicated to that so uh, hopefully you think about that and switch that over to law macarthur if you want to so hopefully uh, this video helped you out. I know I've said that several times. Uh, don't forget uh, to follow us on YouTube. Hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. You also get notified the next time another video uploaded to our channel. And as well, always smash that like button, put your comments down below, share this video out to your friends and colleagues that are looking for Broncos and want more information about it. Uh, and also, let me know in the comments if you're going to get a black diamond. Is this uh, one of your trims? How are you going to have it equipped? Love getting that information. So drop down in the comments. Uh, let people know uh, how you're going to configure your Bronco. What are you going to add to it? What transmission engine are you going to choose? Uh, are you going to go a two-door, four-door? Put that down in the comments. Love getting that, uh, seeing what everybody's uh, building and configuring. Um, and may even you know sway another person to that and saying, oh, I like that. I like this color. Let us know what you plan on doing for your black diamond build down there in the configure and uh, really enjoy that as well. Don't, don't forget you can follow us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, you can see any kind of news we have updated there as well as things going on locally in the community as well as some of the different special offers we have going on here at the dealership uh, as well on any vehicle, which same principle with those. We'll do free shipping if you mention this video uh, when you give us a call there. So uh, again, hope you enjoy it. Hope you have fun with this and I hope this video has helped you out. Until the next one, We'll see you later. Have a great day.